This is an overview of the analog to digital converter for the Scotty Spectrum Analyzer. This is the uh, final device uh, and the uh, uh, IF chain that actually converts the uh, signal into a uh, digital data stream. Uh, it's based around the 16-bit analog devices AD7685 uh, analog to digital converter. It takes the uh, magnitude voltage output from the logarithmic detector stage, which is usually a 0.4 to 2.4 volts DC, and it uh, converts it into a 16-bit serial data stream, which is uh, read by the computer via the parallel port. On my particular uh, analog to digital converter, I have an optional video filter. Uh, this is based around the analog devices ADG704 uh, 4 channel multiplexer. What this does is that uh, using standard of 5 volt logic levels, you can switch in uh, one of four different value capacitors in parallel with the uh, magnitude of voltage input. And this combined with the uh, series resistor back in the logarithmic detector stage forms a uh, low pass filter which can be used to clean up the noise on the uh, magnitude voltage line. Um, this is uh, handy for uh, like a low noise or a low uh, power situation so you can actually narrow up the uh, the filtering uh, a little bit and kind of helps make a signal stand out. It's uh, optional and it's not really needed uh, for this overall spectrum analyzer to work but it's just a little handy feature you might want to add. Um, the AD7685 uh, uh, analog to digital converter requires a uh, stable 5 volt reference voltage on pin 1. So I'm using a uh, precision Seiko uh, 5 volt uh, voltage regulator, the S81250. Uh, uh, it's actually you're powering um, all the devices on the circuit and, but I just uh, decoupled it from the uh, uh, other VCC lines with a series 10 ohm resistor and a ferrite bead. And you put some uh, 10 microfarad caps as close as possible to the uh, the pins on the uh, actual chip. Uh, the lines back to the computer are through a uh, uh, 180 picofarad feed through caps. You got to watch the value on these caps. Anything too high can actually distort the uh, your control waveforms, so we don't want anything too high. It, um, it, it reads at about uh, every five microseconds, and so too high of a uh, capacitor value could actually uh, affect your uh, your data. The convert line goes back to P3D7 on the uh, latch schematic, which is uh, right here. These two lines are going to be used on the latch control board. The serial clock was P3D6. Uh, and oh, there is a transistor buffer because the AD7685 can only source about uh, 500 microamps. So what we're doing is uh, using a 2N2222A 22, 22, 22 22 uh, transistor buffer. I show a pull-up resistor, a 2.2K pull-up resistor, but in my uh, final circuit, I had to remove this pull-up resistor, as there is a pull-up resistor in the computer. Uh, you might want to experiment with that, just because uh, not all computers are going to be all the same today. It's in a way, cheap way to save money. They sometimes leave those pull-up uh, resistors out. That goes back to uh, pin 11 on our DB25. Here's what the uh, analog to digital converter circuit looks like. Uh, the AD7685 and the ADG704 are in 5 pin, those micro SOP uh, packages. So I put, I got little uh, dip converter boards just to make it easier to solder. Um, you can see the uh, feed through capacitors along the bottom here for our control signals back to our control board. Um, oh, on the video filter, you want to use low leakage, low leakage uh, film type capacitors. I'm using polystyrene capacitors, except for the one microfarad I found a non-polarized uh, uh, 
film one microfarad capacitor. Uh, other than that, uh, you just got to really decouple your VCC lines. Um, you want to clean as possible. Uh, I have the input, a DC, 12 volt v DC input going through a feed through cap, a uh, ferrite bead, and a series 10 ohm resistor just to DQ the line and uh, kind of start filtering or cleaning stuff up. The uh, voltage from the logarithmic detector, the magnitude output, I'm using a uh, SM Ajax. We want this uh, connection to be shielded because we don't want any, this is very sensitive to noise, so we don't want any noise getting in. So you want to use a shielded cable for the uh, magnitude voltage uh, lines. On the uh, screen here, this is, I have the software running for the. Uh, the Scotty Spectrum Analyzer project uh, version 116 revision I it looks like I have a uh, negative 55 dBm signal at 10.7 megahertz feeding the uh, logarithmic detector into the uh, analog to digital converter just I'm using this for uh, testing for right now um, oops. just to uh, you do have to calibrate. Right. You will have to calibrate the uh, the software to uh, your analog to digital converter. That's done via the initial cal manager, the software. Choose the uh, ten point. I'm using ten point seven megahertz as our uh, calibration frequency. And what you do. You're going to need an external signal generator. For instance, uh, right now I'm inputting negative 100 dBm. So in the calibration, we'd uh, add 100, negative 100 dBm. And our reference frequency I'm using is 10.7 uh, megahertz. And you click measure. It takes a little bit. Okay, here's our ADC value, 4731. This is just uh, for testing right now because uh, uh, the final spectrum analyzer, you want to take into account the uh, losses to the uh, mixers and the cavities filters. So what you, you do, like every 10 uh, dBm, you can see uh, in this uh, initial uh, table here, I went to negative 100, negative 90, negative 80, negative 7, negative 60, up to 0 dBm. And you add the uh, value and the EDC value here. That is the um, decimal uh, reference or de decimal version of the uh, output binary serial, serial stream from the AD7685. That is going to be um, it's going to be slightly different for every spectrum analyzer due to the losses and stuff. So um, you do you will want to kind of experiment with these values. The AD 7685 16-bit analog digital converter, uh, what it does is um, it takes an input voltage between 0 and about 4.999924 volts and converts it into a 16-bit uh, serial data stream. And for example, um, with based on a 5 volt reference on pin 1, a ground or 0 volts is a 16 zeros. What that does is um, on the 8076, 8765, you uh, raise the convert line from low to high and then back to low for about uh, that initializes, initializes the uh, conversion. And there's an internal sample and hold. And then you clock out on the serial clock line your 16 bits. The, uh, here, here's your convert line and your serial clock, and then your data is waiting on your, it's called the serial data out pin. 
which is where we have our uh, transistor buffer that goes back to the DB25 pin 11. Uh, since it's 16 bits, the uh, resolution is approximately, well, based on a 5 volt reference, the resolution is approximately 76 microvolts per bit. So if there were 76 microvolts, you'd have 0, 0, 0, 0, you know, 1. A 2.5 volts would be your 1 and 15 zeros. And your 4.999924 would be 16 ones. The uh, data is clocked most significant bit first, which is uh, it's very common in these types of uh, analog to digital converters. Here's a. Uh, software running. The software is kind of buggy, I noticed. Um, it's at negative 100 dBm right now. I'll, uh, it's negative 40 dBm. You can see the updating. Negative 25 dBm. Negative 95. Negative 95 dBm. You can see we're uh, down into the noise floor. That's negative 90 dBm. I'd say the usable uh, range is about 0 to 90 dBm, which uh, the, uh, our, the logarithmic detector says it's, you know, 100 dB range, but uh, in reality we're down into the noise. And um, the noise inside the analog to digital converter uh, means the overall resolution is only around 14 bits, so that's about, uh, uh, works out to about 0 0.01 dB. Uh, you know, per per bit or fourteen bit resolution, you know. To uh control the video filter, it has two uh, logic of the lines V0 and V1, those go back to the uh, control board latches P4 D0 and P4 D1. Which were down here. P4, that's P4 latch. Um, this is 0 and this is 0. The uh, 1000 picofarad capacitor is selected. When uh, this is 0, this is 1. V1 is 1. The uh, 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor is selected. When this is 1, this is 0. The uh, 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor is selected. When they're both 1s, the uh, 1 microfarad capacitor is selected. That corresponds to a wide, yeah, wide to a wide video filter, a medium video filter, narrow and extra narrow. Um, in the software, you can uh, set up the video filter uh, values. Remember, there's a thousand picofarad. Also, back in the um, logarithmic detector. So your wide filter is actually uh, 2, 2,000 picofarad. Um, you can, like I said, you can experiment with different uh, uh, values for the video filters.